have the opportunity to see what many people think is going to be the future heavyweight champion of the world. Mike Tyson currently ranked eighth in the WBC. Last month, we saw him go the full 10 rounds against Mitch Blood Green. Previously to that, he beat Quick Tillis going the full distance. So Mike Tyson comes in against Reggie Gross. Tyson undefeated, 21-0, 19 knockouts. A resounding ovation for Michael Tyson, who looks tremendous. He's a tremendous physical specimen. And let's go to the announcement from Frank Shane. Counting for the knockdowns at the bell, referee Joe Santarpia. This contest, 10 rounds. In the blue corner, he's wearing white trunks trimmed with black. He weighed 218 pounds. He's fighting out of Baltimore, Maryland. His career record is 18 wins, four losses with 12 KOs. Here is the very rugged Reggie Gross. Gross. And his opponent in the red corner. He's ranked number four heavyweight by the World Boxing Council. He's undefeated in 21 professional fights. 19 of those fights, 19 fights, ended in KOs. 12 of them in the very first round. He is the most exciting heavyweight the world has been waiting for. The undefeated Mike Tyson from Catskill, New York. His weight is 217 pounds. If you take Gentlemen, a look at the tail of the tape, the and we listen to the uh, referee talking, uh, you see the age uh, difference in the favor of Mike Tyson. The height difference is in favor of Reggie Gross, but almost everybody that Tyson fights, he'll be shorter than. Weight won't make any difference, and the reach is the same. Let's listen into the instructions going on in the center of the ring. I you to break, break clean. Shake hands now. Come up. The referee at this time, Johnny Lobianco. We're all set to go here. This was scheduled for 10 rounds. Scoring by the New York State Athletic Commission by round scoring system. Three knockdown rule is in effect. The fighter must get up following a low blow, or he may be counted out. A fighter cannot be saved by the bell, except in the final round. Mike Tyson, in his usual black trunks, goes right to work on Reggie Gross. Now, Gross with an 18 and 4 record. The best thing he can do is try to tee off on this guy himself, because virtually he has no shot to win the fight if you listen to the boxing expert. Gross trying to jab and keep Tyson off him. They have exactly the same reach, but Gross has that three inches in height advantage. With Tyson, I don't know if it's an advantage or not because he gets down and inside break, the body. Gross from Baltimore. For him to beat Tyson it would certainly vault him right into the world rankings. And it's a great shot at this stage in his career to have a shot at Mike Tyson. But Tyson, it's just another fighter in another month until he gets a shot at the title. Ranked four by the WBC. Ranked eighth in the overall world rankings. He's undefeated, been extremely impressive. 13 of his 19 knockouts in his 21 wins have come in the first round. And I suppose he'd like to keep that moving with Reggie Gross. His last two times out, he's had to go the distance. A difficult battle with Mitch Green last time out, went the entire way. But Tyson won every single round. Before that, he went the distance against Rick Tillis, who's been in with everybody. So Mike Tyson, in his last couple of fights, has fought world recognized opponents, I suppose, would be the best way to describe them. The fact of the matter is, Reggie Gross is not in that league, and if Reggie stands flat-footed like this, he won't be in this uh, ring too long either. It's an 18-foot ring inside the rope. Reggie doesn't look to have an awful lot of power, throwing a lot of punches, but not landing too much. That time he landed one, and the left hook dropped into the canvas. The count is up to six and seven. He's up for the eighth count. Rose to Taylor as he opened up. Started throwing round on shot. He walked in the right hand. The left hook. And Gross is down again. His eyes are very glassy. I don't know if he can get up. It's up to five and six. I don't think this fight can continue. His eyes are very, very glassy. And referee Johnny Lobieco stops the fight. And rightly so. Reggie Gross, his eyes will bless him, and it will be scored as a first-round technical knockout win for Michael Tyson. Another big win for Mike Tyson.
Jackson. His record goes to 22 and 0. 20 knockouts. And 14 of the 20 knockouts occurring in the first round. So Mike Tyson shows his power once again. Reggie Gross, the opportunity of a lifetime. And it didn't pan out for him. He got careless when he started throwing roundhouse shots at Tyson. He threw about 10 of them. He may have landed one. It took only one left hook from Mike Tyson to drop into the canvas. And the fight was virtually over then. He got up. Tyson came right back at him, as you saw. And he was glassy-eyed when the referee, Johnny Lobianco, stopped the fight. So another big win for this man, a fella you're going to hear and see. Quite a bit more of here on the Don King Sports and Entertainment Network. Michael Tyson, another big first-round knockout. Watch the first knockdown here. You see Gross landing some punches there. And see how wild he is? He's wide open now for the left. And watch it. He faints, moving the body, moving the trunk around. Wild with the uppercut. And now he's wide open for a left hook. There it is, right there. The outstretched right arm. The left hook nailed him. And that fight was virtually over there. See Tyson moving the trunk, moving the body. No blows really landed very heavy. It looked great. That uppercut did land, and he landed one more right hand, but not too heavy. Now look for the opportunity. Tyson is mad now, and he shows it by dropping Reggie Gross with a vicious left hook to the head. After that, Gross was able to get up a different angle for you. Again, watch the uppercut will land. The right hand will land. There's the uppercut. Now the right hand will land. Not too heavy. Now watch the left hook. Bang, right there. He announcement from... Frank Shane, the ring announcer. Referee Johnny Lobianco stopped the contest at two minutes and 36 seconds of the first round. He wins.